Annapolis is the capital of the U.S. state of Maryland, as well as the county seat of Anne Arundel County. Situated on the Chesapeake Bay at the mouth of the Severn River, 25 miles 40 kilometers south of Baltimore and about 30 miles 50 kilometers east of Washington, D.C., Annapolis is part of the Baltimore-Washington metropolitan area. Its population was measured at 38,394 by the 2010 census. This city served as the seat of the Confederation Congress, former Second Continental Congress and temporary national capital of the United States in 1783–1784. At that time, General George Washington came before the body convened in the new Maryland State House and resigned his commission as commander of the Continental Army. A month later, the Congress ratified the Treaty of Paris of 1783, ending the American Revolutionary War, with Great Britain recognizing the independence of the United States. The city and state capital was also the site of the 1786 Annapolis Convention, which issued a call to the states to send delegates for the Constitutional Convention to be held the following year in Philadelphia. Over 220 years later, the Annapolis Peace Conference, was held in 2007. Annapolis is the home of St. John's College, founded 1696, the United States Naval Academy, established 1845, is adjacent to the city limits. History Colonial and early United States A settlement in the province of Maryland named Providence was founded on the north shore of the Severn River on the middle western shore of the Chesapeake Bay in 1649 by Puritan exiles from the province, Dominion of Virginia led by third proprietary governor William Stone 1603 The settlers later moved to a better protected harbor on the south shore. The settlement on the south shore was initially named, Town at Proctor's, then, Town at the Severn, and later, Anne Arundel's Town. After Lady Anne Arundel 1616 the wife of Cecilus Calvert, 2nd Lord Baltimore, who died soon afterwards, in 1654, after the Third English Civil War, parliamentary forces assumed control of the Maryland colony and Stone went into exile further south across the Potomac River in Virginia. Per orders from Charles Calvert, 5th Lord Baltimore, Stone returned the following spring at the head of a Cavalier Royalist force, loyal to the King of England. On March 25, 1655, in what is known as the Battle of the Severn first colonial naval battle in North America, Stone was defeated, taken prisoner, and replaced by Lieutenant Gen. Hosius Fendel as fifth proprietary governor. Fendel governed Maryland during the latter half of the Commonwealth period in England. In 1660, he was replaced by Philip Calvert 1626-1682 as 5th, 6th Governor of Maryland, after the restoration of Charles II 1630-1685 as King in England. In 1694, soon after the overthrow of the Catholic government of 2nd Royal Governor Thomas Lawrence 1645-1714, then 3rd Royal Governor Francis Nicholson 1655-1727-28, served 1694-1698, moved the capital of the royal colony, the province of Maryland, to Anne Arundel's town and renamed the town Annapolis after Princess Anne of Denmark and Norway, soon to be the Queen Anne of Great Britain 1665-1714, reigned 1702-1714. Annapolis was incorporated as a city in 1708.17 th century Annapolis was little more than a village, but it grew rapidly for most of the 18th century until the American Revolutionary War as a political and administrative capital, a port of entry, and a major center of the Atlantic slave trade. The Maryland Gazette, which became an important weekly journal, was founded there by Jonas Green in 1745. In 1769, a theater was opened. During this period, also the commerce was considerable, but declined rapidly after Baltimore, with its deeper harbor, was made a port of entry in 1780. Water trades such as oyster packing, boat building, and sailmaking became the city's chief industries. Annapolis is home to a large number of recreational boats that have largely replaced the seafood industry in the city. Dr. Alexander Hamilton was a Scottish-born doctor and writer who lived and worked in Annapolis. 
Leo Lemay says his 1744 travel diary Gentleman's Progress, the itinerarium of Dr. Alexander Hamilton is the best single portrait of men and manners, of rural and urban life, of the wide range of society and scenery in colonial America." Annapolis became the temporary capital of the United States after the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. Congress was in session in the State House from November 26, 1783 to June 3, 1784, and it was in Annapolis on December 23, 1783, that General Washington resigned his commission as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. For the 1783 Congress, the Governor of Maryland commissioned John Shaw, a local cabinet maker, to create an American flag. The flag is slightly different from other designs of the time. The blue field extends over the entire height of the hoist. Shaw created two versions of the flag, one which started with a red stripe and another that started with a white one. In 1786, delegates from all states of the Union were invited to meet in Annapolis to consider measures for the better regulation of commerce. Delegates from only five states New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New Jersey, and Delaware actually attended the convention, known afterward as the Annapolis Convention. Without proceeding to the business for which they had met, the delegates passed a resolution calling for another convention to meet at Philadelphia in the following year to amend the Articles of Confederation. The Philadelphia Convention drafted and approved the Constitution of the United States, which is still in force. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Civil War Era 1849 late 1800s. During this period, a prisoner of war parole camp, Camp Parole, was set up in Annapolis. As the war continued, the camp expanded to a larger location just west of the city. The area is still referred to as Parole. Wounded Union soldiers and Confederate prisoners were brought by sea to a major hospital in Annapolis. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contemporary Era, 1900s present. In 1900, Annapolis had a population of 8,585. To the north of the State House is a monument to Thurgood Marshall, the first black justice of the U.S. Supreme Court and formerly a Maryland lawyer who won many important civil rights cases. Close by are the State Treasury Building, erected late in the 17th century for the House of Delegates, St. Anne's Protestant Episcopal Church, in later colonial days a state church, and a statue of Baron Johann de Kalb. On December 21, 1906, Henry Davis was lynched in the city. He was suspected of assaulting a local woman. Nobody was ever tried for the crime. Annapolis has many 18th century houses. The names of several of the streets, King George, Prince George, Hanover, and Duke of Gloucester, etc. Date from colonial days, the United States Naval Academy was founded here in 1845. During World War II, shipyards in Annapolis built a number of PT boats, and military vessels such as minesweepers and patrol boats were built in Annapolis during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. It was at Annapolis in July 1940 that Grand Duchess Charlotte of Luxembourg arrived in exile during World War II. In the summer of 1984, the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis hosted soccer games as part of the 23rd Olympiad. During September 18-19, 2003, Hurricane Isabel created the largest storm surge known in Annapolis's history, cresting at 7.58 feet (2.31 meters). Much of downtown Annapolis was flooded and many businesses and homes in outlying areas were damaged. The previous record was 6.35 feet meters during a hurricane in 1933, and 5.5 feet meters during Hurricane Hazel in 1954. From mid-2007 through December 2008, the city celebrated the 300th anniversary of its 1708 Royal Charter, which established democratic self-governance. The many cultural events of this celebration were organized by Annapolis Charter 300. Topic: 2007 Annapolis Conference. As announced by United States Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, Annapolis was the venue for a Middle East summit dealing with the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, with the participation of Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, Abu Mazen, and various other leaders from the region. 
The conference was held on Monday, November 26, 2007. Topic Railway Annapolis is the only capital city in America east of the Mississippi River without rail transport of any sort. From 1840 to 1968, Annapolis was connected to the outside world by railroad. The Washington, Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad operated two electrified interurban lines that brought passengers into the city from both the south and the north. The southern route ran down King George Street and Main Street, leading directly to the State House, while the northern route entered town via Glen Burnie. In 1935, the WB&A went bankrupt due to the effects of the Great Depression and suspended service along its southern route, while the newly created Baltimore and Annapolis Railroad B&A retained service on the northern route. Steam trains of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad also occasionally operated over the line to Annapolis, primarily for special naval academy movements. Passenger rail service on the B&A was eventually discontinued in 1950. Freight service ceased in 1968 after the dilapidated trestle crossing the Severn River was condemned. The tracks were eventually dismantled in 1976. Topic Notable institutions The State House The Maryland State House is the oldest in continuous legislative use in the United States. Construction started in 1772, and the Maryland Legislature first met there in 1779. It is topped by the largest wooden dome built without nails in the country. The Maryland State House housed the workings of the United States government from November 26, 1783, to August 13, 1784, and the Treaty of Paris was ratified there on January 14, 1784, so Annapolis became the first peacetime capital of the U.S. It was in the Maryland State House that George Washington famously resigned his commission before the Continental Congress on December 23, 1783. United States Naval Academy The United States Naval Academy was founded in 1845 on the site of Fort Severn, and now occupies an area of land reclaimed from the Severn River next to the Chesapeake Bay. St. John's College St. John's College is a non-sectarian private college that was once supported by the state. It was opened in 1789 as the successor of King William's School, which was founded by an act of the Maryland Legislature in 1696 and was opened in 1701. Its principal building, McDowell Hall, was originally to be the governor's mansion, although £4,000 was appropriated to build it in 1742, it was not completed until after the War of Independence. Theater Annapolis has a thriving community theater scene which includes two venues in the historic district. On East Street, Colonial Players produces approximately six shows a year in its 180-seat theater. A Christmas Carol has been a seasonal tradition in Annapolis since it opened at the Colonial Players Theater in 1981. Based on the play by Charles Dickens, the 90-minute production by the Colonial Players is an original musical adaptation, with play and lyrics by Richard Wade and music by Dick Gessner. Colonial Players, Inc. is a non-profit organization founded in 1949. Its first production, The Male Animal, was performed in 1949 at the Annapolis Recreation Center on Compromise Street. In 1955, the organization moved to its venue in a former automotive repair shop on East Street. During the warmer months, Annapolis Summer Garden Theater presents three shows on its outdoor stage, which is visible from the city dock. A non profit organization, Annapolis Summer Garden Theater has been providing theater under the stars since 1966, when it performed You Can't Take It With You and Brigadoon at Carvel Hall Hotel. It began leasing its site at 143 Compromise Street, the former location of the Shaw Blacksmith Shop, in 1967, and became owner of the property in 1990. The Naval Academy Masqueraders, a theater group at the United States Naval Academy, produces one main stage show. Each fall and student directed one act plays in the spring. 
Founded in 1847, the Masqueraders is the oldest extracurricular activity at the Naval Academy. Its shows, performed in Mayan Hall, are selected to support the Academy's English curriculum. The King William Players, a student theatre group at St. John's College, holds two performances each semester in the college's Francis Scott Key Auditorium. Admission is usually free and open to the public. Museums, historical sites, and monuments The Banica Douglas Museum, located in the historic Mount Moriah Church at 87 Franklin Street, documents the history of African Americans in Maryland. Since its opening on February 24, 1984, the museum has provided educational programs, rotating exhibits, and a research facility. Admission is free. Preble Hall, named for Edward Preble, houses the U.S. Naval Academy Museum, founded in 1845. Its Beverly R. Robinson collection contains 6,000 prints depicting European and American naval history from 1514 through World War II. It is also home to one of the world's best ship model collections, donated by Henry Huddleston Rogers. Rogers's donation was the impetus for the construction of Preble Hall. The museum has approximately 100,000 visitors each year. The Hammond Harwood House, located at 19 Maryland Avenue, was built in 1774 for Matthias Hammond, a wealthy Maryland farmer. Its design was adapted by William Buckland from Andrea Palladio's Villa Pisani to accommodate American colonial regional preferences. Since 1940, when the house was purchased from St. John's College by the Hammond Harwood House Association, it has served as a museum exhibiting a collection of John Shaw furniture and Charles Wilson Peel paintings. Its exterior and interior preserve the original architecture of a mansion from the late colonial period. The Kunta Kinte Alex Haley Memorial, located at the head of the city's harbor, commemorates the arrival point of Alex Haley's African ancestor, Kunta Kinte, whose story is related in Haley's book Roots. A sculpture group at the memorial site portrays Alex Haley seated, reading from a book to three children. The final phase of the memorial's construction was completed in 2002. The Paca House and Garden encompasses an 18th century Georgian mansion constructed by William Paca, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. The property includes a terraced garden that has been restored to its colonial era design. Other The Annapolis area was the home of a VLF transmitter called NSS Annapolis, which was used by the United States Navy to communicate with its Atlantic submarine fleet. Annapolis often serves as the end point for the 3,000-mile annual transcontinental race across America bicycle race. Geography and climate Located 25 miles 40 kilometers south of Baltimore and 30 miles 48 kilometers east of Washington, D.C., Annapolis is the closest state capital to the national capital. The city is a part of the Atlantic Coastal Plain, and is relatively flat, with the highest point being only 50 feet 15 meters above sea level. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 8.10 square miles, 20.98 square kilometers, of which 7.18 square miles, 18.60 square kilometers is land and 0.92 square miles, 2.38 square kilometers is water. Annapolis lies within the humid subtropical climate zone, Köppen Cfa, with hot, humid summers, cool winters, and generous precipitation year-round. Low elevation and proximity to the Chesapeake Bay give the area more moderate spring and summertime temperatures and slightly less extreme winter lows than locations further inland, such as Washington, D.C. Demographics Topic: 2010 census As of the census of 2010, there were 38,394 people, 16,136 households, and 8,776 families residing in the city. The population density was 5,347.4 inhabitants per square mile 2,064.6 per square kilometers. 
There were 17,845 housing units at an average density of 2,485.4 per square miles .6 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 60.1% white, 26.0% African American, 0.3% Native American, 2.1% Asian, 9.0% from other races, and 2.6% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 16.8% of the population. There were 16,136 households, of which 26.6% .6 had children under the age of 18 living with them, 35.3% were married couples living together, 14.9% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.2% had a male householder with no wife present, and 45.6% were non-families, 35.0% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.1% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.34 and the average family size was 3.02. The median age in the city was 36 years. 20.8% of residents were under the age of 18, 9.9% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 31.1% were from 25 to 44, 25.3% were from 45 to 64, and 13% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.8% male and 52.2% female. Topic: 2000 census. As of the census of 2000, there were 35,838 people, 15,303 households, and 8,676 families residing in the city. The population density was 5,326.0 people per square mile 2,056.0 per square kilometers. There were 16,165 housing units at an average density of 2,402.3 per square miles 927.4 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 62.66% white, 31.44% black or African American, 0.17% Native American, 1.81% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 2.22% from other races, and 1.67% from two or more races. 8.42% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 15,303 households, out of which 24.5% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 36.6% were married couples living together, 16.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 43.3% were non-families, 32.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.30 and the average family size was 2.93. In the city, the population was spread out with 21.7% under the age of 18, 9.3% from 18 to 24, 33.4% from 25 to 44, 23.7% from 45 to 64, and 11.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 90.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over there were 86.8 males age 18 and over. The median income for a household in the city was $49,243, and the median income for a family was $56,984. These figures had risen to $70,140 and $84,573 respectively, according to a 2007 estimate. Males had a median income of $39,548 versus $30,741 for females. The per capita income for the city was $27,180. About 9.5% of families and 12.7% of the population were living in poverty, of which 20.8% were under age 18 and 10.4% were age 65 or over. Economy 
According to the city's 2009 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city, excluding state and local government, are Transportation Bus The Annapolis Department of Transportation provides bus service with eight routes, collectively branded Annapolis Transit. The system serves the city with recreational areas, shopping centers, educational and medical facilities, and employment hubs. ADOT also offers transportation for the elderly and persons with disabilities. Several Maryland Transit Administration commuter buses also allow for access to Baltimore or Washington, D.C. Government City government Annapolis is governed via the weak mayor system. The city council consists of eight aldermen who are elected from single-member wards. The mayor is elected directly in a citywide vote. Since 2008, several aldermen have introduced unsuccessful charter amendments to institute a council manager system, a move opposed by both Democratic Mayor Joshua J. Cohen and his Republican successor Mike Pantelides. State government The state legislature, governor's office, and appellate courts are located in Annapolis. While Annapolis is the state's only capital, some administrative offices, including a number of cabinet-level departments, are based in Baltimore. Education <inaudible> 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 Annapolis is served by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools system. Founded in 1896, Annapolis High School has an internationally recognized IB International Program. St. Mary's High School and Elementary School are located in downtown Annapolis on Spa Creek. St. Anne's School of Annapolis, Eastport Elementary School, Aleph Bet Jewish Day School, Annapolis Area Christian School, St. Martin's Lutheran School, Severn School, and Indian Creek School are also in the Annapolis area. The Key School, located on a converted farm in the neighborhood of Hillsmere, has also served Annapolis for over 50 years. Anne Arundel County's Alternative High School, Mary E. Moss Academy, is also in the Annapolis area. Public high schools that serve students in the Annapolis area Annapolis High School Arundel High School Broadneck High School Old Mill High School Saverna Park High School Southern High School South River High School Sports On March 9, 2010, the Chesapeake Bayhawks of Major League Lacrosse moved from Washington, D.C. to the Annapolis area, at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. In 2013, the Bayhawks won the league's championship, the Steinfeld Cup, for the fifth time. <laughs> Parks and recreation The city boasts over 200 acres 81 hectares of parkland, with the largest park being the 70-acre Truxton Heights Park. The city is also home to Quiet Waters Park, a 340-acre park run by Anne Arundel County. <laughs> Publications The capital covers the news of Annapolis and Anne Arundel County, See also, List of newspapers in Maryland in the 18th century, Annapolis Notable people John Henry Alexander 1812 born in Annapolis, scientist, businessman, and author Bill Belichick 1952, lived in Annapolis, graduate of Annapolis High School, head coach of the New England Patriots John Beale Bordley, 1727 to 1804, government official, farmer, and author. 
Sally Bryce O'Hara, born 1953, graduate of Annapolis High School, 27th Vice Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard. James M. Kane, 1892-1977, born in Annapolis, author of Double Indemnity, Mildred Pierce and the Postman Always Rings Twice. Michelle Carey, 1943-2018, born in Annapolis, actress, El Dorado, Live a Little, Love a Little. Donald Brown, 1963, pro football player. Charles Carroll, 1723-1783, Continental Congressman from Maryland. Charles Carroll of Carrollton (1737–1832), United States Senator and signer of United States Declaration of Independence. Peter K. Cullins (1928–2012), U.S. Navy Admiral. John Wilson Dannenhauer (1849–1887), Arctic explorer of Jeannette Expedition. Henry Winter Davis (1817–1865), United States Representative from Maryland. Daniel Dulani the Younger (1722–1797), born in Annapolis, prominent loyalist and one of the most powerful lawyers in America prior to the American Revolutionary War. Robert Duvall, actor, lived in downtown Annapolis. John Eubanks, Republican member of Arkansas House of Representatives from Logan County, graduated from high school in Annapolis. John Hall (1729–1797), born in Annapolis, delegate to the Continental Congress from Maryland. Alexander Conny Hansen (1786–1819), born in Annapolis, son of the above, United States congressman and senator from Maryland. Samuel M. Harrington (1882–1948), born in Annapolis, USMC Brigadier General. Reverdy Johnson (1796–1876), born in Annapolis, United States Senator from Maryland and Attorney General of the United States. Barbara Kingsolver (1955), born in Annapolis, novelist and poet. Iris Crossno (1954), author, journalism professor, and keynote speaker. Frank J. Larkin, resident of Annapolis, Sergeant at Arms of the United States Senate. James Booth Lockwood (1852–1884), born in Annapolis, Army officer and Arctic explorer, the person who named Lockwood Island. William Dewhurst Merrick (1818–1889), born in Annapolis, lawyer, professor at George Washington University, and United States Senator from Maryland. Debbie Meyer (1952), born in Annapolis, three-time Olympic swimming gold medalist. William Paca (1740–1799), signatory to the United States Declaration of Independence as a representative of Maryland. Travis Pastrana, 10th Games athlete, former NASCAR driver. Christian Siriano, fashion designer and winner of the fourth season of Project Runway. Thorne Smith (1892–1934), author of Topper. Archibald Spencer (1698–1760), associated with electricity, and Benjamin Franklin. Stan Stearns (1935–2012), photographer of the iconic image of a three-year-old John F. Kennedy Jr. saluting the coffin of his father, U.S. President John F. Kennedy, at his father's funeral. Leo Strauss (1899–1973), German-born Jewish political philosopher who specialized in the study of classical philosophy, spent his last three years of life teaching at St. John's in Annapolis. Mark Teixeira (1980), born in Annapolis, retired professional baseball player for New York Yankees. Street. Claire Wright (1910–1993), preservationist and gardener. Brother Chidananda 1953, President from the Self-Realization Fellowship and Yogada Satsang Society of India. Neighborhoods and suburbs Sister cities Annapolis is a sister city of these municipalities. Tallinn, Estonia Newport, Pembrokeshire, Wales, United Kingdom Dumfries, Scotland, United Kingdom Wexford, County Wexford, Ireland Annapolis Royal, Nova Scotia, Canada Karlskrona, Sweden Redwood City, California, U.S. Niteroi, Rio de Janeiro State, Brazil 
Topic See also Music of Annapolis WNAV WRNRFM <laughs>